All right, and speaking of reality shows, Stevie J has had to get a restraining order against Jocelyn. Uh, whoever thought it would come to this? Uh, now everybody. he says, now he says that she was out to ruin his character, and you know she made these allegations that he molested his six-year-old daughter, mm. and he said that was just out of revenge. It's a terrible thing to say about somebody, you know. And Jocelyn posted a message that was saying that he was molesting his daughter, that he has with Mimi for years. So he hasn't said anything about it until. Yesterday, he filed for and was granted a temporary restraining order against Jocelyn. He says that she is volatile, jealous, and that she's filled with an evil sense of revenge after they split up. He has, she has to stay at least 200 yards away from him, but she's still allowed to go and get her Rolex and diamond ring from his house as long as the cops come as well. Now, Jocelyn, I rode a plane with Jocelyn going to Atlanta a couple of weeks ago. Jocelyn is diesel. She's built. I would, I would get a restraining order against her, too. I mean, I, 200 is still too close for Jocelyn. She's diesel. Yeah. She definitely could beat him. Mm -hmm. Well, if you remember on Wendy Williams' show, she was talking about Jesse uh, Jesse Williams' speech uh -huh. uh, that happened at the BET Awards, and she said some things about HBCUs that had people in an uproar. Here's what she said. You know, I would be really offended if there was a school that was known as an historically white college. We have historically black colleges. And what if there was the N National Organization for White People only. Yeah. There's the NAACP, national. By the way, what what is the C? Colored? We're still using colored? Like, I get it. Look, everybody's quiet. <laughs> You're leaving me out here to hang to dry by myself. They sure were. Well, Roland Martin from TV One actually broke it down for her on his show. I really am, am, am tired of these uh, wannabe Stacey Dashes who clearly <laughs> don't bother to actually read a book. Wendy, let me help you out. The NAACP was founded by a mix of folks who are black and white. You do realize that the first president of the NAACP, Wendy, was white. But let me deal with HBCUs. Now, one of the reasons why you don't have historically white universities is because we just simply call them universities. The fact of the matter is, you can go around the country and you'll see universities, Wendy, they're 70, 80, 90, 95% white. Wendy, let me help you out with something. When you're on TV and you have no idea what you're talking about, shut the hell up. Mm. I mean, I mean, I agree with him. I mean, my daughter is uh, 14 years old and I would love if she went to Hampton University. Absolutely, right. positively love it. Well, after all of this, Wendy Williams did invite Roland Martin on her show to explain what why she was wrong for her statements and give a history lesson. And here's how it went down. I saw the rant. I wanted to reach out. I've never been um, scared, you know, to face being wrong. And we were talking on the phone for so long that I said, well, just come to the show. Mm -hmm. Come to educate us all. I want to apologize to everyone that... I might have offended regarding my remarks, you know, uh, apology, and I was wrong. Now, what did he say on the show? Did you watch the show? I, I watched the clip from it. I didn't see the whole entire show. I wonder what he, he said on the show. Yeah, he did give uh, some information, and he said when it comes to our colleges, we couldn't go to those schools. As a matter of fact, we couldn't read during slavery. You could be killed if you were found to be reading. So that's why it's so critically important. He said, you know, these institutions allow us to survive in America, even though we built this country. And he just gave basically a whole history lesson, but it's definitely worth you seeing. Yeah, I, I, I went to Hampton University. I'm sure everybody knows. I talk about it all the time, and I need to do more for Hampton University. I, I absolutely positively don't do Actually, the people at Hampton enough. talk about that all the time. Yeah, I, I don't do enough. I'm <laughs> I only go down there, I think, once a year, but I would love to go down there more They'd often. They'd be like, do why more. don't Envy do more for Hampton? I, I, I'm working so much. I'm everywhere, but I absolutely positively need to do more for my college, for my alma mater. So I will start doing more. I, I, I know they Someone from, the, the from your school was like, he hanged that flag in the background, the Hampton University flag on the show. Like, he think that's doing something? Look, I'm at Hampton about <laughs> six, seven times a year doing stuff and doing shows. I don't have time to actually talk to the students because I have a job. Dang. But I will be more... Doing, doing more Sometimes things.